this is just a short video to highlight some areas where I've found uh, common problems that the people have been experiencing and show you how to uh, to resolve these, these issues for you very quickly. Uh, that will save you time and it will also reduce the uh, load on the help desk for me which will allow me more time uh, to get on with doing updates for the software and getting those out to you. Um, one of the most common ones is if you go to your site and you scroll down and look at the uh, the image down here you find that it doesn't look correct, it doesn't, maybe doesn't have the arrows on, doesn't have the colours, or the colours are wrong, something like that. Not this here, now in Internet Explorer, Internet Explorer doesn't display the top bar very well in the, um, in the simulator. If you use Chrome, I find that's the best uh, browser to use for the simulator because Chrome is built on the same basic source code as the browsers in Android telephones and also the iPhone. So you get a very, very close representation if you use Chrome as the emulator instead of Internet Explorer. Um, another quick thing that I find people get confused about is this where it says easy mobile site generator and push button computing.com and Google. Those won't appear on your website. They're just, this is just a background image here. Only this from this point downwards down to here is the actual, um, website being shown in the simulator. Also this little, uh, scroll bar won't appear on your website on a mobile phone. Um, a, a different sort will appear. But if you're getting that this isn't displaying correctly here, then well, the first thing to check is to go up to settings here. Go to permalinks. And then just come down to where it says save changes and just click save changes. You don't have to do anything. Just go and click that save changes button because sometimes WordPress gets a little bit uh, confused after you've installed a plugin um, that uses custom post types which we use in Easy Mobile Site Generator and doesn't reset the permalinks correctly. And if you come here and just click that button there, save changes, that will resolve that for you. That's normally if you're seeing things like 404 errors in the simulator. Now, another issue when you're getting display problems that I've found for people is in the themes, maybe the, the CSS has not got updated correctly. So th to correct that, you can come here, just click on the theme, and just click the update button, and that will recalculate all the CSS values for this particular theme. If you get it on one theme, it's probably wise to go through each theme that you have and click update on each theme. That just recalculates all the CSS. What, what actually happens is we store the CSS um, in one file for, to, to speed up your mobile site so it's not having to recalculate everything every time anybody lands on your mobile site. And clicking the update here is just doing that recalculation for you and resetting the CSS. Now another problem that some people have experienced, not very many but a few have, is that when they installed, instead of um, the themes coming through as published, they come through as scheduled. So here, instead of saying published, it says scheduled. And it's, it's on a, a date that's actually in the past. What you need to just do is just go here, click edit, change the date to a date in the past, click OK, and then click update, and that will resolve that for you. So those three things, the permalink set that you get from the settings here, coming to the themes, and clicking the update, and checking the published date, are the three most common issues I've had to deal with at the help desk. So those will clear a lot of issues for various people very quickly without you needing to come to the help desk. So I'm going to try and put a link to this through to everyone. So if you have any sort of problems, check those three things first. If you haven't got it resolved uh, from those, then come to the help desk at pushbuttoncomputing.com slash helpdesk and I'll help you out through there.